World Health Organization estimates that 63% of deaths worldwide are due to chronic diseases, and 80% of those are in low to middle-income countries. This task force project has a number of key features. The first is innovation. We're leveraging state-of-the-art technology to facilitate more cost-effective and better access to healthcare. Nós acompanhamos alguns pacientes com todo o material que foi fornecido para o projeto, fazendo a sua avaliação clínica em companhia dos profissionais da Clínica da Família. Meu nome é Júlio César, tenho 30 anos de idade, sou nascido e criado na comunidade de Santa Marta e atuo na parte alta da comunidade. Secondly, we're working closely with the city of Rio, with GE, which is providing the e-health technology. And we, the New Cities Foundation, coordinate the project and facilitate its implementation with the family clinic in Santa Marta. de o Júlio vir aqui, tirar minha pressão, ver como é que eu estou, perguntar como é que eu estou, e eu responder para ele. Você precisa estar descendo para ver minha pressão, para apanhar remédio no tem cabine atrás também para mim. Moro aqui no Morro desde 1967 e agora melhorou muito para mim, né? Que eu não tenho muita dificuldade de descer, que a equipe vem me fazer, vem me dar assistência em casa. Houve uma redução uh, do número de internações hospitalares por doenças cardiovasculares, o que comprova quando nós conseguimos desenvolver projetos de busca do paciente, pode trazer resultados reais de prevenção no atendimento a pacientes com doenças crônicas. Essa é uma experiência que a gente desenvolveu na comunidade de grande sucesso, o que a gente tem a partir de então a expectativa de poder expandir é, para outras áreas da cidade, trazendo essa ferramenta inovadora, sendo, portanto, um dos caminhos para é, vencer os desafios que estão colocados para a nossa cidade. This is why we think the project in Santa Marta is such an exciting one. It's a very inspiring story and we're very proud to have been part of this project. It's a very uh, important for project for us in Rio de Janeiro. We uh, have been running this project during the last one year or one year and a half. And uh, what is important to highlight in this, in this beginning of this talk is that we have here the opportunity to combine soft technology people, health community agents, poor people, slums, uh, a lot of uh, relationship between people inside uh, this very poor area in the Rio de Janeiro city with very hard technology, with very uh, 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 contemporary technology like the uh, devices that uh, we uh, look at the, at the movie uh, focused in, in e-health. Um, what is important to, to tell you that uh, this kind of community like Santa Marta, we have a lot in Rio, uh, there are some key uh, important aspects. One of them, what was shown in, in a very, very uh, uh, precisely way in the movie, that there are a lot of patients, there are a lot of citizens that have difficulties to reach the health system. Uh, in Santa Marta, we have a family clinic just at the base of the mountain, very close to the population. All the guys who live there have access to the, to the uh, health system uh, in this family clinic. But considering the geography of the region, there are a lot of difficulties for a lot of people to come down to the health units and make all the appointments that, we need, that they need uh, to be follow, followed up uh, in their health problems. So what uh, we... Uh, performed in this pilot project with this combination of technologies. We invited uh, uh, a state university 
in order to manage the data of this project. And then we, we have looked for both outcomes and costs in order to answer a major question. This kind of technology in this scenario can give us uh, better uh, health outcomes and reduce the cost of the system. And I will show, show you the results that we have. Uh, obviously, the professionals uh, involved on, on this project were trained in using this technology. It's pretty easy to use this kind of technology. So all this, uh, uh, it's, it was very easy for them to be prepared to, to use the device. All the ethical aspects, since this is um, a clinical research, were followed with, uh, according to uh, the national rules for ethical uh, aspects of the clinical results. And uh, as I said before, we did it uh, with the State University in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, some results that uh, we have obtained for that, for, with this pilot study, first of all, uh, 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 it's pretty clear that the access for the health system was improved when the technology and the team go, goes to, to the house of the patients, especially the, pa the, the, the patients uh, who have difficulties to come down to the family clinic. And then with this kind of result, we are more able to follow these patients and to get better out clinical outcomes for this population. Some uh, points that we have looked for, because these are diseases uh, that represent a very high cost for every health system around the, wor the world, not only for uh, the uh, developing countries, but also for developed countries. And uh, we observed as a, a first endpoint a slight redu reduction of systolic blood pressure. We have connections with other diseases in cardiovascular, cardiovascular field. Uh, but more impressive, uh, then we have the, com the comparison between an historical control in the country and the results that we obtained with uh, the project itself. When we compare the prevalence of stroke in hypertension patients, we, we, we obtained a huge reduction of uh, 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 stroke cases in these patients. And obviously, this is secondary to the best follow-up uh, follow of these patients. The same kind of result we uh, obtained for heart failure, which is another very important syndrome, uh, have important impact in the health outcomes, and usually is the third or fourth uh, syndrome in consuming uh, resources in any uh, health uh, system. These are very impressive results, but um, uh, have in mind that we, ha we are comparing the results for uh, uh, mixed cases around the, the, the country in this specific population in, the, in this pilot study. The same kind of results in the controlling of type 2 di diabetes, which is very important. And it's impressive talking with the team that worked in this project, how the patients were very satisfied with that obviously more, uh, more confident with the recommendations of the team. And this is very important for every treatment that we employ in our uh, patients. The same kind of results for diabetic uh, retinopathy, which is uh, uh, one of the markers of complications of uh, diabetes. And uh, also very important results in reducing the hospitalization of this population in the hospitals, in the public hospitals of the city. If we consider all these results together, all of them have, has, uh, has a huge impact in reducing uh, the, co the, 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 the consume of the resources in the, in the health uh, system of the city. And this is exactly what, we're, what we, we are looking for. Uh, initiatives that bring us better uh, quality of life of our citizens with uh, less uh, uh, resources of the health systems. Here, the satisfac satisfaction with the home visits uh, that the patients observe during the, the, this, this uh, project, and also uh, the overall uh, rating, if it's good or not, considering the visits itself, which is very important, again, 
to have the patients working with us in this kind of technology. In summary, I would like to tell you that uh, we are absolutely confident with the excellent work that uh, people from New Cities Foundation uh, made and also the university. We are convinced to expand this kind of experience in Rio de Janeiro and probably at the beginning of next year we are now uh, thinking in having a phase two of this project enrolling uh, a, a large amount of citizens on, in, on this kind of project and uh, we are really very happy with the, with the results and also very confident that we can now have a more uh, a large scale project confirming these results. Thank you very much again for the invitation.